Hey, this is Michael from thetradingauthority.com. Today we're talking about short-term versus long-term memory. Why? Well, stay with me and you'll understand how it relates to trading. Basically, short-term memory, we can store five to nine things at a time in this place. Where are my car keys? Where did I put my briefcase? What am I having for lunch? We have a portion of our brain that, in essence, right up here, short-term frontal lobe, this is where we keep the short stuff, the short-term goods. Okay, I need you to understand the difference between that and long-term memory. Your long-term memory is where you keep all the memories and facts that you use to define who you are. When information makes it into the long-term, two main theories, rehearsal and meaning. One, if you rehearse something, if you rehearse something over and over again, and or two, if the facts have important meaning to you. Okay? Look down here. Rehearsal, however, is the only surefire way to transfer information from short term into long term. What is in long term? Driving. I get in the car, I don't think about it. I just do it. I just drive. I'm not thinking about, okay, I move my left hand over to the steering wheel. I move my foot over to the gas pedal. I'm not thinking about, as I enter into the intersection, if I should... Uh, press harder or lighter. Everything is happening. All of those signals are firing off automatically from the long-term memory portions of my mind. I just do it. What are some other examples of things we do without thinking? Think about your job. Typing. Do you think about typing or do you just do it? Do your fingers naturally know which keys to go to? Okay, this is long-term memory. Do we want trading to be in long-term memory or short-term memory? We want trading to be in long-term memory. Why? Well, look at what happens when it's not. And we'll bring this information up to you. This is the portion of your brain where panic kicks in. The basal ganglia, large structures deep within the brain, control the intensity of of mental activity. When a human is under extreme pressure, his brain shifts into emergency mode. Sound familiar? Let's keep reading. The brain is only meant to enter this mode for short periods of time, and generally only does so in time of great danger, or when you're experiencing pain. When do we experience pain? During trading, during losses. And then listen to this. People, or in this case, students under pressure and excessive stress that persists for months or years, the brain can develop this mode of functioning as a habit. So, let me sum this up because this is, this is meat and potatoes stuff here, guys. If we enter into a state of panic because we don't have a long-term set of rules or memories to rely on, that state of stress it will persist and develop into a habit. What are our habits? We've talked about this in other videos. The habits are simply this. I get in a trade. The trade goes up, comes back down, starts to go up. My target is here. I take the trade off here instead of letting it go to target. Inevitably, what happens? The trade goes like this, boop, 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 hits target, but I took it off early. Trade comes in, starts going down towards my stop. I panic, I move the stop once, I move it twice, I move it three times. Comes down, hits the lower of the stop, goes up and hits my target, and now I have guilt. So the next trade, I get a signal and it starts to go long, and I sit on the sidelines, and I watch it go without me right to my target. So then the next trade comes in and I get a long signal and I double up on my contract size and it goes right down into my target. And I do these things over and over and over again and every day I wake up and say, why did I do that? Why did I just do that? What is it about me? I am crazy. <sighs> my body language, holding my head. <sighs> I, I can't believe I did that again. Where did all the money in my account go? Okay, but there's an answer. He gives it to us in the article. Okay. Rehearsal is the only surefire way to transfer information. Effective rehearsal involves using as many senses as possible. Say the item you want to remember out loud. Draw it. 
explain it to someone, touch it, get it into long-term memory. Let's look at the model we teach at the Trading Authority. Let's look at, this case, a 512 tick ES S&P E-mini. We say to ourselves in our back testing, and we do it 400 to 600 times before we place a live trade. If the E-line crosses the T-line and we have a bearish to bullish rotation, when we have a candle close above the E-line, we are long four ticks at the entry bar, in this case, 832 quarter. We are long to target one if we're a one contract trader, and again to target two if we're a two contract trader with stops below. That's it. See how I said it out loud? Let's look at the next execution. If the E-line crosses the T-line down and we have a full bearish candle close below the E-line at the cross, we are short four ticks below the close of the candle at the strike, stops above, targets below. If first target is achieved, trail stops. And I do this and I log the trades over and over and over and over and over again. And I begin to move those information pieces of data from short-term into long-term memory, into my limbic system. And I'm getting it from the front of my brain to the back of my brain, or this part right here, deep inside in your limbic system. And all of these memories now are there like driving, like work, like changing diapers if you're a mom like doing taxes if you're an accountant. You don't think about it, you just do it. And when the thought comes, when you get that information in to trade, it enters deep into that portion of your brain where the good memories are. And this time your brain doesn't reach for the panic button. It goes deep and it searches the files that you've created through your back testing. And it acts just like a hard drive. You don't go to your RAM anymore. You go deep back into the hard drive portion of your brain, and the answers are there. And you take the trades, and you understand and realize that if I take every one of these trades, my system leads me to profit. Okay? So get it down. Short-term versus long-term memory. We don't want short-term trading memories. We want a system and a model and rules of engagement that we can rehearse to get the trading rules from the short-term portion of our brain into the long-term portion of our brain. We want to get to the point where we're so good and react so fast that we can barely explain to someone why we do what we do, but we show them our P&L at the end of the month, and uh, that's the proof in the pudding. My name is Michael with TheTradingAuthority.com. If these videos are useful for you, and I hope they are. Please rate them. Leave a comment for me at the bottom of your screen. If you can, shoot up here to the right side and subscribe so you get these when they come out right away. Take advantage of the trial offer at the end. Put this knowledge into action. Get off the emotional roller coaster. Learn how to trade the right way. I did it. My best friend did it. I guarantee you'll do it. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Get in there. I'll see you when you get in the room. Take care. If you feel the preceding video was a valuable tool to you, we'd like to encourage you to go deeper by visiting our website at thetradingauthority.com. Click on the free Live Room Trial button to receive over two hours of exclusive trading psychology videos and one entire week of live coaching and mentoring with master trader Todd Brown as he demonstrates his exclusive dynamic structured trading system live. Simply fill in your name and email address and wait for the logon instructions to arrive. Don't wait to take control of your trading education. Take advantage of this free offer now.